this is Lenovo Z40 so I'm going to show you today how to upgrade the RAM so now <clears throat> it's only the 4 GB hope you can see yeah here's the 4 GB RAM now uh, by default uh, come with the package so I'm going to shut down the PC this is Lenovo Z40 <clears throat> going to shut down and then I'm going to open this Let's shut down very quick as you can see here hope you can see from here <clears throat> Z40-70 so I'm going to open up and we will change the RAM <clears throat> and we will see what's inside if somebody want to change the RAM or hard drive so we should know how it's going to so here's the screw one two only one and two Actually, I want to say one, two, three, but this no thumb. And then I just can, can bring out the. Okay. Then just pop up this side and it will be open. Okay, so here's two RAM slots. Hope you can see where wait, I will <coughs> put it properly. Yeah. Here you can see two RAM slot. Four gig is come with the PC and one four gig RAM. I bought Kingston four gig DDR3 L RAM. This is a new technology start from Gen 4 L RAM. DDR3 L RAM as you can see here DDR3 L so L RAM is will be support for this if there's only DDR3 not L might be not work 80-90% um, it will not work so we will put it here just like this insert little bit press and okay just down okay that's all so before we close this we will look a bit here is a hard drive if you want to change SSD or some other hard drive there is only one screw more here one screw here and then screw bring out bring a little bit back side and the hard drive will be come out and uh, sorry one screw here and yeah that's all and one screw here there is two screws and then hard drive will be easily out and just uh, you can change the hard drive not difficult sometime you can check your PC is not working well overheating or shut down so you open this and you can see there's a dust in the fan might be there's a dust in the fan and if too much dust it will be automatically shut down so if you use more than one year and you used outdoor outdoor kind of place so we can clean sometime we can just open it don't have to touch more things and uh, we can just open it and then we can just clean with kind of brush or something like uh, like this you can see here and then you can just just do it like this This is very important sometime because of overheating the computer because it's gaming computer it's need a good cooling and the people they keep using but they never care about the dust or some area is so much dust so after just use soft brush you can just clean it and after you can see my brush a little bit brownish here because the dust is really clean the dust and it's not harmful you can because these are just plastic and that's all 
but before you close this just turn back like this on it to confirm that your RAM is compatible and everything everything is work fine so that is very important thing here it is we will just on it let's see if display will come it's okay or if sometime have no display power on it's when your RAM is not compatible and there's something wrong so here you can see the computer is turning on first time take a little bit more time because it's just configure the RAM so don't have to worry because normally in 4 gig is quickly start but now you can see I upgrade to 8 gig 4 gig more but it's taking a little bit time but this is normal for first time when you upgrade the RAM this detect the hardware and make it just uh, like install new hardware so here it's go you don't have to worry just keep look the screen it will on some people might be think oh uh, quickly what happened there's no screen or something yes you see so sometime if the person is not experienced he quickly think why not display coming and they can quickly can bring out RAM and get disturbed don't be panic just if the display is on and don't have to worry just give the time to computer to configure it so now hope there is no 16 GB maybe the computer detect oh this is 16 <laughs> just kidding so it's on and now I'm going to system property let's see what we done with the PC okay it takes time for first time don't don't have to worry yeah it's 8 gig here 7.9 GB usable I hope can see if you can maybe I will bring the yeah here it is so this is the PC I just want to tell you simple thing how to change hard drive RAM and how to clean you can see there's a display card GeForce 840 this is the NVIDIA graphic and this is the Intel graphic so they are automatically switched for power saving so anyway this is my short video hope you like it and get some information like it if you like subscribe thank you bye bye now I'm going to screw screw back and then I will on again with the 8 gig just now you see it takes a little bit time right so you will see this time I hope not much time like before so now I'm going to on again and you can see the speed will be not as first time and RAM, RAM is 8 gig as you can see very fast same 8 gig RAM but the speed timing is faster than before right the reason is the first time I told you when you install any hardware even the PC they detect and they take a little bit time more but the second time everything better and faster than before here you can see again I want to make for zoom 8 gig RAM same PC when I just insert the RAM it take time a little bit and now everything is smooth so here is just my simple short video so we are going to shut down I want to show you a little bit about the computer and model if you have time you can see or you just can close my video so this is the model here is the USB fast charging standard USB this is USB 3.0 I think 2.0 HDMI VGA power backside is nothing 
side is DVD drive mostly now the new laptops don't have DVD but this model have DVD so it's a good laptop but actually don't have to use USB one here and SD card that's all simple you can see here again the model to confirm if that kind of other model procedure will be almost the same so don't have to worry just relax and can change here is the battery can open the battery like this very easy way most of the time if you don't if you use the computer there is a one tip I'm telling you if you use the computer at home bring out your battery make make it full and bring out your battery when you're going to travel anywhere just keep in your bag and just plug in and can go if you use computer at home bring out battery and just use the power plug your computer will be safe and your battery will be safer and you no need to spoil your battery within six months one year because you keep in plug all the time no reason okay thank you bye bye